فاصبر صبرا جميلا. In that time, it would be better for you to give priority to Arabic and Quran, Quran first and Arabic second. So for example, just as a rough example, you can adjust it according to your own preferences and your own uh, abilities. Maybe you want to give two thirds of your daily time to the Quran and maybe a third of your daily time to the Arabic course if you don't speak Arabic. So for example, a person that say they say, I'm going to give two and a half hours a day. For example, it doesn't have to be a third. It could even be like two hours for Quran and half an hour for Arabic or an hour and a half for Quran and an hour for Arabic. And you guys have seen what you can do in an hour and a half with Quran. You can do a lot. So for example, you go like that. With regard to how, how do you know exactly how much so you need to evaluate your performance. If your performance in the Quran is not good enough, like you're just not getting any further, then you're going to have to increase your Quran. Quran comes first. But if you're doing fine with an hour and a half, then look at your Arabic. Is, is your Arabic too much a day? Or is it just too many words and they just you're not learning them? Cut it down, no problem. So you adjust it like that. And then maybe once a week, twice a week, three times a week, you do the academy for now. Once you finish the Quran inside of two years or a year and a bit, then you can, you can definitely take more of the academy at that time. Some people said, you mentioned in the academy itself, you mentioned that you only need to do five ajza in the first level. You need to do five ajza in the five juz in the first level. That's true. But that was more of a minimum commitment rather than for the Ashab al-Qur'an. Ashab al-Qur'an who have a goal to memorize the Qur'an, I would say do it something like that. Maybe, for example, if you've got two hours a day, give an hour and a half to the Qur'an, half an hour to Arabic, and then once a week, take the half an hour Arabic off, or twice a week, take the half an hour Arabic and replace it with one lesson of Aqidah and one lesson of Fiqh. That's just a rough guide. You look at your own self. If you find that the Arabic is just too much. The word, I'm not taking the lessons in. I need to go slowly. Go slowly and then add some more of the other lessons. If you feel like my Quran is going fine and I'm happy with it. Yeah, you can, like for example, if you were doing two and a half hours, but you decide to cut it down to two hours so you can take a little bit more of an Arabic lesson. Arabic will help your Quran and Quran will help your, will help your Arabic. They'll go together. So just very, very quickly because we are short on time. Have any of you got any questions about this issue? How to schedule Amy, you or similar to that, like, like issues of memorization. One more thing before I take your question. Some people said, I already started memorizing Mutun. So what's your view about memorizing texts while memorizing the Quran? I'm very much against memorizing any text until you have finished more than five Jews of the Quran. The reason is less than five Jews it seems to be that five Jews is kind of like a, a limit. Once you pass it, it's very likely that you will memorize a lot or all of the Quran. When you're less than five ajza, it might be that you don't ever get beyond where you are. So we don't want you to get distracted. Once you get to five or 10, then you get to 15 and 20. It's much more likely that you will finish the Quran. So you can add like some time every week to memorize poetry, to memorize key texts and things like that. So what I would say is, if you started something, don't lose it. Like you started the 40 Hadith of Imam al-Nawawi, don't stop it because there's no benefit for you to have started it and then you lose it and then you have to do it again. Just continue, just give it less time. Like maybe do just cut maybe an hour a week or 10 minutes a day or whatever, okay? Until then. Once you've done that, don't add anything else until you get to at least five juz of the Quran. And not just five, but you've got a program where you're adding a juz regularly. Every two months, every month, every three months, you're adding one. And you've got no doubt the Quran is going well. Then you can now, you can add a little bit of poetry and text and things like that. That it doesn't distract you from, it doesn't distract you from the Quran. So for me, what I would like to see for someone that I know they're not distracted it's two conditions. Condition number one, they reached five ajza of the Quran. They reached five juz. 
That's my first condition. The second condition is they're adding a juz on a regular basis. So it could be every three months, it could be every two months, according to the speed of memorization, but it's getting, it's going. And you're like the next month, okay, I've got, now I've done a juz and a half, two, then I've done another one, then another one, and it's, it's going forwards. If that's happening, then you can, if you have spare time in your timetable, you can add some points. Last, last thing before I take your questions is someone might ask, I've got university, I've got studies, I've got exams. There's no doubt those things will come into play. And the answer is, Do the best you can. Fear Allah as much as you can. Try not to ever lose at least, at least your word of the Quran. At least. That means your regular portion that you don't leave it every day. We don't leave that no matter what. Yani, national disaster, yani, exam, interview. We don't leave that portion of the Quran every day. So at least that. But if there's times when you maybe miss memorization one day because you've got an exam the next day, what can you do? And if you couldn't do it, you couldn't do it. But one thing you'll find, memorizing the Quran, wallahi, it will help you so much, so much in your secular, I don't like the word secular, let's call it worldly, worldly exams, in your worldly exams. Because let's be honest, if someone can memorize the Quran like that, and they know the ayah at the top of the page, and they know the ayah before and the ayah after, Tell me any university degree that has even a quarter of the memorization of the Quran. And I've seen even medicine, even the ones that are like high end, they don't, the memorization for the entire degree doesn't even equal a quarter of the Quran. So you can easily, you can ace your exams. Like we used to see in Kulit al Hadith, I used to be shocked. Some of the students, for every exam, I used to ask him, You get good marks? He said, Yeah, I just memorize everything the teacher says. Everything. Like I just memorized the entire 16 weeks of lesson. I just memorized it. I used, to sit with, I used to sit there with the teachers, the notes they've taken from the teacher and memorize them like the Quran. Because once you've memorized and you start getting used to it, like you, you can memorize anything. So that's what Allah made easy for me to mention. Allah knows best.